professor, I would test you in the worst way. Don't bring a scantron, it's pop quizzes all day. Cause of our chemistry, we do biology. What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Subscribe or die trying. You see the thumbnail. Susie Carmichael from Rugrats. They did a um, Rugrats all grown up or whatever. But Susie happens to be the black girl. And her picture is she's a single mother with two kids. And it caused a bit of a stir. And... I'm not sure which way, why this stir is this way. So I'm, I'm putting this out there as this. Is this the new normal? Because this isn't the first time people have done an animation or a promotion thing with a black woman being a single mother. This is not the first time. This is pretty much, you know, par for the course. And it's, it's, it's spilled into the cartoon era, right? Now, my thing is, back in the day, it used to be the deadbeat dad stereotype. You get what I'm saying? Women are having these kids and taking care of these kids and being single mothers because these guys aren't around and these guys are deadbeat dads. And I think now it's leaning towards these women are single mothers by choice. So now the image is, is shifting from not deadbeat dad, but more so single mom by choice. Um... And I think ladies ha are, are having an issue with that shift. They were cool being single mothers and, and, be, and saying, you know, the guy left. But now, you know, it's pretty much, as far as adults are concerned, it's like the vast majority of you ladies, y'all actually get pregnant and leave or y'all want to get pregnant. And y'all actually the ones that are in these relationships. So now it's putting cartoons. And the kids are going to go, oh, it's a, and, and you're going to say the little girl is going to be like, oh, well, I guess we're supposed to grow up and, and be single mothers too. And, you know, the older women are like, hey, man, you can't keep putting this image there out of, this image of us out there. Uh, I forgot the Disney film, right? The Disney did a short film. It's on, it might still be on Disney. It was about a little, it was about woman babysitting, basically, taking care of some kids. And she snuck the kids into the club. They had a trench coat and they were just, you know, stacked on top of each other in, inside the trench coat. And then they, you know, got caught per se by, I don't know if it's their mom or their babysitter, something like that. And then they were all in the bathroom, like, you know, trying to figure out how to get out of the club. And, and what I'm saying is, and that was a short story slash, it was a cartoon, it was animation. So when I say, you know, these things are, are pretty much popping up, this is what it is. Now, the reason I say these things is this. Um, what you see now is less sympathy for black single mothers. This is, you know, people are, are starting to go, ah, hmm, no, you know. I don't want to hear your story. Your story sounds the same. All you ladies sound the same. Y'all got the same exact story. Y'all with a guy, you were a great woman, and, you know, you had a baby, and then he bailed. But it's like, no, because I'm around you, and I know you got some crazy ways about you, and you did something, but you never say what you did. Now, going back to the Susie Carmichael thing, right? What was interesting to me, even as I saw the picture, was so the Susie character that was the mother had a perm. Her hair was straightened. But on the on the top screen of the picture, it was her as a kid with the with the pigtails, you know what I'm saying? And the daughter's hair is natural, but it's you know tied up, same not not necessarily pigtails, but it might be. But then the <laughs> So the daughter looks like, and the kid's hair is the same, but the daughter's hair, I mean, but the, the daughter's, the daughter's hair and the mother's childhood picture's hair is the same. But the mother's hair is fried, dyed, and laid to the side. But, so that also was like, wow. And can you get mad at that? Like, because 
people were just mad at the single mother thing. But the irony of it is you just overlook the hair thing because it's so normal. And all the ladies who like to say, you know, we natural, we, we like our own look. Th that, you know, the cartoons depict that also. You get what I'm saying? Um, television shows depict that also. Um, memes and posts and pictures depict that also. So that's what I say is this the new norm is because, you know, one dysfunction is offensive and the other one is overlooked. You know, you could call that self-hate, right? But whatever. Um, now what I'm going to say before I end is this. A lot of you folks don't like the image. And I understand why. But unfortunately, a lot of us have enabled the image to be true. See, we have, you know, we have people in our family who are single mothers and, and, and they chose to be single mothers or they play these games with the kids and they alienate the other parents and the other parents' families. So when people look at this as the norm, you can get offended by it. But the question is, are you participating in it in your own life? And a lot of people who are offended are. You know what I'm saying? So tell me what you think. Like, share, subscribe, or die. Try and catch y'all on the next one. Peace. You ever been to the top of the universe? I'm going to tell you. <laughs>